Well, the newspaper headline writers have had a field day, or are having uh, a field day presently, with all that's going on in the country uh, with regards to COVID, Brexit and everything else. And three recent headlines from over the weekend. Last minute U-turn cancels Christmas for millions. Sky News headline, Christmas cancelled for millions. Sunday People headline, militant virus kills Xmas. And then I heard an interview on the radio uh, yesterday with a woman from Oxfordshire. And she was expressing how distraught she is about not being able to keep Christmas as planned. She's looking forward to relatives, to friends, nice food, nice parties. And she left posing a question which she answered for herself. And the question that she asked of herself and answered, so what are we left with this Christmas? The answer, nothing. Well, yes, uh, our hearts and our compassion and our prayers do go out to all those many millions of people who won't be able to be keeping Christmas as planned. As our hearts and our compassion and our prayers go out to all those who are suffering. And I'm particularly mindful of those suffering from COVID, uh, the elderly in our residential care homes. And we're mindful too of those who will be uh, looking after them in care homes, in hospitals, and indeed the other essential workers who will be keeping the life of the country ticking over whilst we're enjoying Christmas but in a different gear, not as maybe as planned. Back to the lady, to the woman in the interview, what have we got left? Nothing. Well, we know in our heart of hearts that's really not quite true. Yes, uh, the crackers, the tinsel have probably have been stripped away for us, but what are we left with? We are left with the real essence of Christmas. And what is the real essence of Christmas which we need to focus on afresh? First of all, the obedience, the humility of Mary in saying yes to God, saying yes to the angel, to be the mother of the saviour of the world, to become none other than the mother of God. The essence of Christmas can be seen in Joseph, in his quiet, solid courage, in responding to the angel, in taking Mary to be his wife and not putting her away. The essence of Christmas is there in the angels. They visited the manger, the first visitors, and afterwards they left the manger glorifying and praising God, worshipping. So what for us this Christmas? Strange Christmas is it's going to be? Well, let's focus on the essence of Christmas, working backwards, praising and glorifying God. Worship lies at the heart of our Christmas celebration, worshipping God who has broken into our world in and through his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Joseph, for the days that lie ahead, uncertain as they are, we need to be inspired afresh by the example of Joseph, his quiet courage and his saying yes to God, venturing out, not knowing where his journey was going to take him when he married Mary. And then there's Mary herself. What an inspiration she is as the mother of the Saviour of the world, the mother of God, our mother too, who draws us and draws our attention, our gaze, to her Son, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. So, a strange Christmas as it's going to be, I wish you a joyful celebration as you focus on the real essence of Christmas. God with us in his son Jesus. So let's glorify him and worship him and let's live the future with quiet courage and confidence knowing that God is with us and let us follow the example of Mary, mother of God, our mother too. Happy Christmas to you all.